Now it's time for our weekly mental health check-in, and we're taking a closer look at how this heat wave could be impacting not just our bodies, but our brains, too. Plus, I teased this a minute ago, they are called super agers. We will tell you more about people who are in their 80s, but they're keeping their, mar their minds sharp. Let's bring in Dr. Jennifer Hartstein for more on this. She's a family and clinical psychologist and friend of the show. Dr. Hartstein, always great to see you. Thanks for being here. Let's start with this Thanks, extreme Savannah. heat that we've been covering for weeks. Millions of people under some sort of heat advisory or warning in the U.S., but also we're watching this happen globally as well, potentially our hottest July ever on record. We know, of course, how this can impact your physical health when you're out, the dangers that can come without the potential hospitalizations, as we're seeing in places like Phoenix. But what about our mental health? Walk us through this. And are there ways that we can protect our minds from the impact of this heat? Absolutely. You know, one of the things that happens is we can't think clearly. You know, the heat makes us feel overwhelmed and not just our physical body, but our mental body. And so we get more frustrated. We can't pay attention. We're not paying attention to detail. That's why people kind of make all these mistakes that we make. We maybe can't do things as quickly as we might want to. So we have to start paying attention. And the most important thing to notice when it's so hot is how are we sleeping? Because mm -hmm. that can be the first warning sign we need to be paying attention to that something is going on in our bodies. Oh, wow. That's a really good point there to think yeah. about that and pay attention to it. Um, okay, let's talk about these super agers. This is a new study in the Lancet Healthy Longevity Journal. It followed the brain activity of people over 80 years old, <clears throat> excuse me, but who have the mental sharpness of someone 30 years younger, maybe even more than that. Walk us through this. What yeah. are some of the factors that contribute to a sharper mind? And what can we take away from this? So this is really cool. And I, I kind of loved reading this study because what it does, is it also tells us we can start now to prepare ourselves for this later. And what it's saying is these super agers are more physically active. They have lower blood pressure. They are kind of more fit kind of physically, which helps we know keep our brains more fit. And so this is a great thing to be thinking about. If we start doing stress management, staying physically active, eating well now in our 40s, 50s, 60s, are we setting ourselves up for healthier lives in our 80s? And it might be a good marker to help prevent dementia from developing. So this is great for telling us what we need to be doing now, and that will help us later. So great messaging for all of us. Yes, definitely. All right, also I want to ask you about a new trend taking over social media. Also a good thing. It's called micro yeah. joy. So tell us, what's a micro joy and what's the best way to practice it in our daily lives? How can we bring a little bit of this to each day. Oh, micro joys. I think I, I think this might be my favorite thing we're talking about because it's so easy mm -hmm. and it's really based in the idea of mindfulness, right? And it's about being present in the current moment you're in so that you notice the thing that you are enjoying in that moment. So it means in a time of chaos, you could be having a lovely cup of coffee and that little five minute enjoyment of that cup of coffee could just bring you a moment of peace and groundedness that you need when the world is swirling around you. And so we can do it all the time. We don't have to make efforts to find it. It's happening, petting your dog, seeing your child laughing, mm -hmm. enjoying a beautiful sunny day. And you just need to notice it and allow yourself to be in that moment and then that can kind of give you that moment of groundedness you need when everything else around you is swirling. Absolutely. That's easy for us all to try to focus on. Dr. Yeah. Jennifer Hartstein, thank you so much. Always wonderful to see you. Thanks, Savannah.